Now, you've heard me mention the term distribution before. And I want to take a few moments to go over the concept of a Linux distribution. For the most part, when you download a Linux operating system, you're going to do it in the form of a distribution. Very rarely will you ever download the source of a Linux distribution or a Linux operating system unless you're going to be developing components for that. So the basics of a Linux distribution is putting everything that we've talked about together, including the Linux kernel, any files required to make it operate. Uh, where necessary, there'll be a graphical user interface. You'll have drivers, popular software, things of that nature, things like OpenOffice or VI, various components that all come together to make a usable operating system. Now, most Linux distributions are going to vary from one to the next, meaning that you might get this set of software with one distribution as opposed to a different set of software and components with another distribution. So it's important to evaluate what distribution is going to be effective in your specific environment. Most Linux distributions have a few changes that make them unique, such as product logos, and software inclusive packages, things like that. Now I've listed a couple of common distributions here. Red Hat, Debian, Slackware, SUSE, things of that nature. Now we actually cover Red Hat and Debian in this course. So we're going to pretty much stay specific to those because they are the most popular in today's environment. Now, SUSE is also making a huge leap forward in technology, as is Mandrake. Now, for the most part, when working between Linux distributions, because they all rely on the Linux kernel, they're going to have some similar commands and similar components that make them usable from one distribution to the next. So this allows us to have the flexibility of going to one distribution, typing in a set of commands, and being able to use those same commands on an alternate Linux distribution. So, for the most part, everything that works on one distribution can either be retrofitted or will natively work on other distributions. Now, for the most part, the Linux Professional Institute exam is not specific to distributions. But when they say that, they mean most of the commands and most of the features covered on the exam are going to be non-distribution specific. The exception to that is Red Hat and Debian package management. And the concept of package management is how the Linux distribution handles software, drivers, and other non-essential packages of code. So that will vary pretty significantly from one distribution to the next. For the most part, you're either going to use source or you're going to use RPMs. And we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Everything else covered on the exam is going to be non-distribution specific.